In this video, I'm going to be starting a brand new series called How to Prepare for Team of the Season so far. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to get free packs in FIFA 20 for Team of the Season. The only thing you're going to need is a bit of time. And I think we can all agree right now that we've all got way too much time on our hands. Let's get into it. If you want the cheapest FIFA 20 coins with a ban proof system, make sure to go and check out Mule Factory. I've left a link in the description. If you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. Let's get into it. Oh, what is going on guys? LE96, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In this video, like I said at the start, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get some free packs for Team of the Season in my brand new series. It's gonna be how to prepare for Team of the Season, which is gonna be a mini series in the run up to Team of the Season. So you're probably gonna see around five videos, maybe. In this series, I'm gonna go through and do some trading. I'm gonna do some SBCs and may play some games. I'm gonna be showing you guys a little few tips and tricks that you can use to help best prepare for Team of the Season. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if we could smash a massive, massive like on this first episode, that would be sick. Over 300 likes is your target, and I will be getting the next episode out on Tuesday, so make sure to stick around for that. But what we need to do, we need to jump in and go make ourselves a new account. You guys are more than welcome to follow me along with this. I'm gonna show you guys how to go from absolutely zero coins. You don't have to spend anything, don't spend a penny. You just got off some time basically so let's get into it let's make a new account you guys can set up as well and let's prepare for team of the season let's go so guys first things first i need to go and delete my ultimate team <laughs> it's just what i've got to do in it it's just one of them in it you just gotta get it all set up start again it's gonna be a pain this but I'm doing this for you guys. So I started a brand new account. First tip I'm gonna tell you guys, make sure when you're choosing your starter packs to go for English because English has some of the best players for the different SBCs that we're gonna be doing in the first stages. When you come through to choosing your kits as well, make sure to pick yourself a popular kit because you can sell these onto the transfer market or you can quick sell them. So I've actually got myself a Dortmund kit here as my home kit. Next up, I've actually managed to get myself a Liverpool kit. I'm just gonna take a look to see if there's anything else. Oh, a Spurs kit could be good, but I think I'm gonna go for the Liverpool kit because it is the away kit. Then we're gonna choose ourselves a badge and I'm gonna go for FC Porto lovely stuff so as you can see in the back end of my club right now I've got myself three different rare gold cards here these badges away kit home kit so what I need to do is actually put on some different kits and a different badge so I can actually put those onto the transfer market for whatever reason it doesn't let you do it just straight away so I'm gonna put both of these on get rid of my Dortmund kit and my Liverpool kit and I'm also gonna put this badge on instead we're gonna go back over to those gold items in this home kit right here and take a look to see how much they're going for so the Dortmund home kit is actually going right now now for around what looks like probably around 1,000 coins so we've made a pretty decent profit straight away so I'm actually just gonna list this one up for around 650 just so it sells on pretty quickly likewise for this Liverpool one I'm hoping that I will be able to make some coins off it I think the home one probably would have been better to get but this one's only going for around 600 coins so I'm only gonna list this one up for 300 coins and then we need to take a look at this Porto budge as well to see if this is actually going for anything it's not though it's going for around 250 coins so what I'm just gonna do with this is just quick sell it just for some easy coins it's 56 Six coins it's not the best in the world but there we go so what I'm actually gonna do whilst I'm waiting for all those items to sell on is just jump into a squad battles game and what I'm actually gonna do is play against the featured squad now with this featured squad I'm actually gonna play on beginner and with this I'm gonna go into the game and I'm just gonna score myself a couple of goals and put the controller down when I do that that will actually get me some daily objectives and other objectives just for the season in general and I'll also be getting myself 1500 squad battles points which if we do actually get squad battles rewards tonight which we do I'll then be able to save those squad what battles rewards for team of the season so there's the first trick set yourself up an account quick sell some of the rare gold things that you get go and play a game or two of squad battles on beginner that's a very very nice team as well <laughs> jesus so all i really need to do here is just score myself i think it's five goals yeah five goals and you should be getting the more squad battles points so so just give me a minute and uh i'll be back in a sec i've just scored myself my fifth goal and this is where things get really really easy i'm just gonna chill now sick so what i'm actually gonna do as soon as i've got out of this squad battles game is do some trading and build up some coins and i'll show you guys the best sbcs to do to get yourself some free packs for team of the season so 
Let's get into it. So guys, we're back out of that squad battles game. You can see in the top left that I've actually managed to make myself some coins and that's because both of our cards have actually sold on. So we've got some coins to play with now. So I'm going to show you guys a really, really good trading method just to build up some coins to around 10,000 coins to get yourself some free packs for team of the season. In addition to that as well, as you can see over here, we have actually completed some seasons objectives as well, which we do actually need to redeem. And we have actually got ourselves a coin boost as well, which I could actually use in squad battles to be fair, just to build up some extra points. But you can see right here in season progress, we managed to get our ourselves our coin reward we managed to get ourselves some packs as well which we could probably just save these for team of the season and all we had to do was play a squad battles game so not bad some free packs right there we've also got some coins from completing these the basic challenges or whatever it is play featured squad so we've got silver contracts pack and a premium silver players pack now the premium silver players pack i am actually going to redeem right now because i do actually want to try and use some of those players for different spcs but what i'm going to do jump over to the market and show you guys how to make some easy coins so let's get into it so if you find yourself in a position where you've got around 1000 coins what i'd actually recommend for you guys to go and do straight off is go and do some trading with some left backs now i made a video on this not too long ago so if you want the full method make sure to go and check that video out i'll leave it on a card that should pop up on screen now all you guys need to do is go over to gold go over to left back go over to league and, and what i'm actually going to do right here is set this to around 850 coins just to take a look to see what the price is today it's looking that these are around 850 coins so with this i'll put it down ever so slightly just until i find myself the very minimum price and it's looking around 750 coins so based on that i'm going to put it down 250 coins and snipe loads of stuff at around 500 coins and then if I manage to get anything decent, I'll come back to you guys and show you. So I'm going to go and get some snipes and see what we managed to get. So guys, I got both of these two for probably around 200, 300 coins under. It's not the best profit in the world, but I still need to wait for these to sell on. So whilst I'm waiting for these cards to sell on, what I'm actually going to go and do is play some of my other squad battles games. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we've got the coin boost on before. And I can also get myself 1,500 points by playing the team of the week on a beginner. So I'm going to do exactly that. So I'm going to go through score my five goals and then jump back over to the transfer market and hopefully our cards will have sold on by then so we can make some more coins and jump into an SBC to get ourselves a free pack. So let's get into it. So guys, we've actually made some coins. As you can see in the bottom left, we've sold on 22 items with three still selling and we've actually managed to build up enough coins to go and do one of these SBCs that I want to do. As you can see right here, all of these cards have actually sold on, all of which I bought for under 500 coins roughly. Some of them we've not really made too much of a profit on and I did just go and snipe random left back from individual leagues rather than just going for gold ones because I found that that was a lot more profitable actually when I got started. As you can see though, we have still got three other cards waiting to sell on, which isn't too bad. In our store right now, we do actually have four free packs, which we've got for team of the season, but we will be going for one more before the end of this episode. So I'm going to go and fill out the SBC that I need to complete and I'll come back to you guys once that's complete and show you guys the solution which I've come up with. Hopefully, it'll be as cheap as possible. So, guys, it's obviously going to be the Elite ASBC, which I'm going to be completing first. And this is the team which I've come up with. I want to show you guys all the player prices which I've paid. You guys are more than welcome to go and copy this squad if you're following along with me. But starting off with the goalkeeper position, it's going to be Vukovic, who I've got for 650 coins. Left back position, I've put a centre mid in here in Fofana at 400 coins. Next to him, we've got Delhi, 950. A bit expensive, but when you guys come to actually do this, he should be the tiniest bit cheaper. He's just being price fixed at the minute. But I couldn't really be bothered trying to find someone else to be honest so next to him we've got this guy 850 coins not even going to try and pronounce his name right back is 700 coins in ricardo who else have we got sentiment position we've got Zhao at 700 coins in the sentiment position we've got this guy again whose name i'm not going to try and pronounce at 400 coins we've got donza at 500 coins the left wing position is deata at 900 coins striker position is going to be demata and then over on the right wing spot is going to be wilson eduardo now this has cost me overall around seven and a half thousand coins and to get a 45k pack back from that I don't think that's too bad to be honest so we're going to actually submit that squad and get ourselves our prime gold players pack and we are now up to a pretty decent pack amount right here now before I did say that we did have four packs in the store and I was hoping to get another but I didn't realize that some of them were bronze and silver so this is what we've got so far so these are all the free packs that we've got in this episode so if you've enjoyed this video lads and you found it helpful drop a like on it if you stay to this long in the video there will be the giveaway winner announced. So let's get into that. Just before we get into the giveaway winner though, I do want to do my outro. This has been the first episode of how to get free packs for team of the season. Basically, how to prepare for team of the season. If you enjoyed this video, just drop a like on it. But it's Betty Six and I am off.
Well, guys, the winner of the giveaway is going to be AJ Canell, and he does win himself 2,200 FIFA points. But don't worry if you didn't win. Honestly, please don't worry because I will be doing more giveaways. AJ, I will be commenting on one of your videos, mate, and all I want you to do is to just follow the instructions that I send you. But, yeah, thank you so much, lads, for all the entries on the giveaway. We will be doing another one soon. But first things first, drop a like on this video, and I might do another one as soon as Tuesday. So there you go. Thanks a lot for watching.